Hi, welcome to Big Hat Homestead. Today I am preserving fresh vegetables, including my own fresh picked cucumbers. Okay, I have about 14 cucumbers. I only needed 10. So this is about seven pounds. Each cucumber is about a half a pound and each pint jar holds about a pound. So for every two cucumbers, it's about a pint jar. I'm also going to pickle some spicy carrot sticks and one green tomato, the rest I will freeze. I followed ball and USDA canning recipes. I'm using pickle crisp, pickle spice, garlic, and some crushed red peppers, in addition to the brine recommended by the USDA and ball canning. I chopped the cucumbers into spears and slices to make uh, dill pickles. Other ideas you can do, you can do dill relish, you can do sweet relish, and you can do sweet pickles. My pickles will be dill and spicy dill. I'm not an expert at canning, I'm learning as I go. This may be my third time canning, so don't be afraid to try it. Just follow the rules for safe canning. Make sure to leave at least one half inch headspace. Each recipe will tell you how much headspace you need. Put your lids on finger tight. And when you're putting your lids on, if it doesn't turn right or something doesn't feel right, just take it off and check to make sure there's no debris underneath. And if there is, go ahead and wipe that. If there's something wrong with the lid, go ahead and remove that one and put a new one. I'm making these pickles the way that we like them. We like garlic, we like spice. Um, if you don't, that's optional. Just make your uh, preserved foods the way that you like, as long as you're following the safe canning guidelines. Don't forget to debubble and wipe the rims. This takes off any debris so that it won't interfere with your lid sealing. This is my first time canning spicy carrot sticks. It sounded like a good recipe, so I wanted to go ahead and try it. My first batch is done. I have one more batch with a few jars, and I remove my jars after the five minute waiting time recommended in the recipe. The recommended processing time was 10 minutes after it started boiling for my altitude. I did mine for 15 minutes because I'm new at this and I just want to be extra careful. These will sit on the counter for 24 hours before I take the bands off and check the seals. Some green tomatoes. This was only three. Look how many it made. I canned one and I'm going to freeze the rest. I'm going to freeze them and then I'm going to zip seal them after they're frozen. And I can make fried green tomatoes with this another day. I place the green tomatoes on a single layer on a baking sheet and I'm going to freeze them once they're frozen. I'm going to use my vacuum seal. Here's my second batch, the last few jars. This one recipe made six jars of pickles, three jars of carrots, and one jar of green tomatoes. My measurements were pretty spot on with no waste. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.